uh, this is episode 76 of uh, Ficker Talks from Toys TV. My name is Rhino, and this time we're going to bring you free zero one six scale Ultraman suit, but it's that version. This one is a black one, black colored one, and I personally I like this very much. And I will go into details for what is it about and all in English. Thanks, sir. thanks for watching. Okay, we are using the most advanced technology that uh, I disappear suddenly on the screen and we go into the figures only because this is up on the request of all the audience they don't want us to see my face so only figures now and this is the 3016 scale Ultraman suits but it's a special version, it's a staff version so all in black color but uh, there's no definitions that uh, staff should be dark or black in color. But anyway, most of the staff staff version is black in color. This is probably uh, start from the staff aircraft from uh, U.S. Air Force. So all the color scheme looks like a warcraft or aircraft. So in these figures, we have. Uh, Altogether seven uh, different posture hands for this and you can see the details look very close to like a robotic hands. But actually as we know the previous version of Ultraman is a is a hero. The height is more than twenty feet or thirty feet. So that means he is he might be only five or six feet tall in real life. The story is about he is the son of the Ultraman but he is no longer a superhero with a very big body but still have some superpower I think. So this staff version is black in color and looks really more sci-fi like and uh, Futuristic like, and, uh, yeah. Don't forget this. Uh, they have uh, two light up functions uh, of his eyes, and also at this part. And there's also a a removable parts of the helmet here, so we can change the battery and uh, put, and there's a button on and off. And you can see there's an extra accessory, you know, the light special effect. Uh, oh, as I could remember, but I'm not sure. But uh, sorry, I didn't prepare well for this episode. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a light up function here. If there's a light up function here, it would be very, it would be very, very cool. I like the color scheme myself anyway and the figures um, weight is is good for myself that means uh, this is not too light in weight you may think that it is a die cast version but actually uh, most of the material is 
plastic, ABS, PVC, etc. Some people think that uh, the feet is die cut, but um, yeah, maybe I'm not sure. And uh, there's the human has rock here. And you know, this is a comic style. Okay, uh, not too much accessory for this figures, but a very very good basic design, basic design. And uh, I like this version better than the regular versions. Anyway, and all the articulations have been uh, tried and tested. On Toys TV program last night, uh, we with Douglas and you know two other hosts, and they already test the, the articulation, the tightness of joint, the color, the comments. But all in Cantonese. But if you want to see the articulation, uh, you can view this part of program as well. But for me, for this figure talk program, I don't have extra spare hands to to show the articulation here. But this one is a very good quality and product recently released from Free Zero in my point of view. And I like the final outcomes of all the hands. Very good paint jobs. Very good details. Yeah, no complaint at all. And again, very good box design. So if you like Ultraman, I mean the the latest Ultraman, it would be wonderful. As we can see very closely, we can see the paint job is not just a simple paint job with different color scheme tone, but also very fine battle worn or weathering of like a metallistic way. So it looks very like a metal material on the suit. This is a very wonderful job of V0 and you can see all the fine details of the pass and the armor suit. On the edge, there is some color drops, a very fine working from mass production from the factory. So it's very, very good job. For the paint, for the painting, and go to have a look on the forearm and the special effect like the laser, and you can see the side wheel of the Ultraman. I really love the design and concept. Looks really, really cool.